Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using Radar Opus. So there are a couple of things that um, I'd like to show you. The first of which is how to use the cross references uh, in the program um, in a way to expand the size of your rubrics um, to sort of go for a more general approach so you end up with more of a Boninghausen style repertorization. The benefit of this is that you will catch more of the um, modern remedies because they're often put into smaller, more obscure rubrics than the, than the big ones that we're probably more used to using. So, and it, you can do this on the fly really quickly. So that's what I want to share with you really. So uh, in the first clipboard, um, we have the traditional repertorization. And in the second clipboard, we have the expanded rubrics here. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. Here's the first clipboard. So double click on the first rubric and it goes to that part in the repertory. So what I've done is um, clicked on the remedy bottle icon and that um, shows or hides the remedies. So it's just easier to see the cross references with, with the remedies hidden. Okay, so there they are. What you can do is use the take button to um, to so this is rather than just dragging it across as you might normally would go to the take button and there's a little drop down arrow and you just choose that option so it brings up this window and what I want you to do is to take the cross references so I'll just show you what happens if you so you can take them all individually So in this clipboard now, there are 10 uh, rubrics. So, you know, Rage probably doesn't really fit with cursing. That's slightly different. So if I delete that and then right click to select all, right click, bring up the context menu in general. If you're not sure, right click on things and you'll find all the options. Okay. So select all rubrics, right click again to copy, not copy, sorry, combine the rubrics. And then you can either combine them and keep them all intact. Uh, so you would just give them a letter there. But what I'm gonna do is create a new rubric and just give it a name, cursing, combine. Okay, but there's a quicker way to do it. This is if you want to be more um, careful about what you include which, which of course is good, but sometimes you want to work quickly. So for the next one, I'll double click and I'll show you how to do it quickly. So you can use the shortcut, which is F6. You can take the cross references and you select here with all rubrics merged into one already. So you're not being as careful, but you know, you're going to check through when you differentiate the remedies, whether they actually fit your case anyway. So for me, that's not such a big factor if I'm going to work in this way. I don't think I would do it in every case, but you know, it's a nice technique and the program allows you to do it. So take that rubric <clears throat> and you'll see there it is, but much bigger. And I'll just show you one more double click. So there you are, here are the cross references for impulsive. F6 or go to the take menu and take the cross references, merge them into one rubric. There you go. Okay, so that's how I've done it. So what I'm gonna do is clear this clipboard. And one thing you can do if you want to sort of cross check is to keep your traditional repertorization there and alongside it have this one with which includes the cross references. But uh, for the sake of clarity, I'm just gonna delete this first one. So you right click on the clipboard and select clear. So this is the one I have selected. Now the next stage, because you've got so many remedies here, is if you're Jeremy Sher, you just happen to go through and know which one to choose. But for mere mortals like us, um, it makes sense to have some other techniques we can use so um, we can use the families approach 
if you click on the families icon at the top you go <clears throat> you can see all the different families um, that, there are, that, are, that are there so there are rather a lot and these all come from the families repertories so click on the repertories tab type in families and you'll see what we have here so there are kingdoms myasms sankaran families etc all available so it's a really good resource there whilst they don't have the information i'll show you how you can find that anyway so the first thing you could do is to limit to a miasm for example just type in a miasm now you can right click and limit the analysis to that family okay there it is so now we only have nine remedies covering the totality that are in that miasm and then you can click to go to the keynotes as usual if you want to uh, release that limitation you can press command z on a mac control z on windows and then you can start again another way of doing it would be to uh, click on uh, remedy let's take androctonus now because the keynotes haven't been written it's uh, taking me to passport um, some of you will have that and so you can get some source information there but if you click on the families tab within the keynote section there's the miasm according to Sankaran and the kingdoms so it's like a taxonomical view you can go down to the arachnids and it shows you how many remedies there are so here are all the spiders and then you can choose to limit the family so you limit the analysis from there okay so I'd like to also show you how you can find information using Google incorporated in the program so click on the Google icon and one good website to always check is interhomeopathy as there are often good articles there so there's one a case so nice go back what else is there anyway you can you can use that to uh, check some more um, recent uh, information on the remedy let's have a look at another one tarantula so there is keynotes in the program for tarantula because it's a more classical remedy yeah, if we go onto google again and look on into homeopathy this particular article that i found is fantastic um, you'll find a good comparison between insect and spider themes here by um, Carolyn Burdett. So what you can do is um, drag around the text and then right click to copy and you can put that into your own Word document for <coughs> easy retrieval. Okay and then you can go back to the analysis window <coughs> and again command Z or control Z will release that limitation. So another thing you can do in Radar Opus is <clears throat> to use the expert system. And the nice thing about using this with a families approach, you can limit to a view. So let's just look at plant remedies. <clears throat> and it gives you large, medium and small remedies to look at. <clears throat> it often finds things that you wouldn't normally expect to find so let's look at Lilium Tigrinum again if you click on the Google icon and as it's a plant if you type in the website of uh, Jan Scholten you will find all his information there so it's called Cure Q-J-U-R-E 
<clears throat> and it's about ten pounds for a year's um, subscription, so it's really good value. So you click on there, and it takes you to his uh, information on that remedy. But you can also see, you know, the information of the whole Liliala's family as well. And the same thing, you can copy that text into a Word document. Okay, so. I think that mainly that covers the ground that I wanted to um, on this tutorial. I think the last thing that I'd like to show you is, um, so go back to your keynotes for the remedy up here, choose search for the remedy in all open repertories. So it's just a loaded uh, search into synthesis. If you right click on the remedy, choose this option here, rubrics containing <clears throat> less than or equal to one remedy okay and search again now you get all the all the singular rubrics for that remedy so you can see does it actually fit um, my patient okay and that's it thank you very much for watching okay bye